Money for a new police patrol beat in downtown Walnut Creek has been approved. Today, the city council unanimously approved the use of federal dollars to staff five additional officers to work downtown. And that move comes after about 90 people raided the Nordstrom store at Broadway Plaza late last month. And as Crown Force Philippe Jagal reports tonight, the group stole about $125,000 in merchandise and injured employees. In response to financially crippling organized retail thefts in Broadway Plaza, the Walnut Creek City Council has signed off on more police boots on the ground. Targeting people is egregious and particularly unacceptable. In August, the City Council approved a $231,000 contract with the Nordstrom store. The agreement freed up city dollars to pay for an assigned officer to keep watch at the store during voluntary overtime hours. Money Nordstrom agreed to reimburse on a quarterly basis. But grab and run thefts have continued and escalated. Focus on downtown because it affects so much of everything that is going on around it. Less than two weeks after two Nordstrom employees in Broadway Plaza were injured while the city says 90 people looted the store, getting away with $125,000 worth of stuff. During a special meeting Wednesday, the council approved a resolution. It authorizes $2 million still available from funds the city received from the COVID-19 stimulus package to improve safety measures downtown. We need to arrest charge and prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. The city staff report says $1.6 million will be used to staff five additional officers in a new downtown patrol beat through June 2023. It could take between five to 18 months to recruit and train the new officers, but in the meantime, the council approved $130,000 to cover overtime pay for two additional patrol shifts three days a week through next June. As for the looting case, three arrests have been made and the police chief says he expects more in the coming weeks. In Walnut Creek, Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.